Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This is a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at how you feel about each other, what's going on in your connection, and what's next for your connection. So we're going to get right into it. Please keep in mind that this is a general love reading and it cannot and will not resonate with every single Virgo watching. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate for you at all, check out my playlist for Virgos. I have a ton of videos there. Spirits, angels, guys, what messages do you have for Virgo regarding the person they are in a connection with or thinking about at this time? What's going on for Virgos in love? I keep getting this card. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with one another. I keep getting this card. What else for Virgos? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Ooh, okay. So far, so good. I'm getting good, good energy here. Um, so let's see what this is about. Tell me more, Spirit. Now this reading will be for those of you who already have someone in mind or are in some sort of a connection. All right, for Virgos, what is going on for Virgos in love? Five of Pentacles. What's going on for Virgos in love? Interesting, at the bottom of the deck, I have the Lovers Gemini energy here. And that came out with the Two of Swords. So I feel like a lot of Virgos are one of you in this connection, but I feel like it might be you have a difficult decision to make. A decision between what your heart is telling you, what your mind is telling you, regarding a person that you love. Queen of Cups is here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I feel like right now, um, there's probably a distance in this connection or someone feels left out or abandoned or perhaps you are struggling without this person. You could also be going through a difficult period in your life as well or your person is Virgo because this is what's going on in your connection so both of you can be here. Spirit, tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles please. Queen of Swords. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles. The Sun. Interesting. Someone wants clarity. This is what I'm seeing. Someone wants everything out in the open. A conversation, a heart to heart conversation that is honest and clear. Someone could also be wanting to talk about someone that makes them happy or a connection that makes them happy or finding their happiness tell me more about this five of pentacles tell me more about the five of pentacles king of swords okay someone wants to talk really really badly I feel like this conversation will change the course of this connection or is going to bring about a big change. Whatever this conversation is, it's almost like a life-changing conversation. With the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is all about moving forward into a new cycle. Why is... Oh, wow. The Two of Cups just wanted to come out there. Tell me about the Queen of Cups for Virgo. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Ten of Wands. Tell me about Knight of Cups Reverse. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups. Picturing someone, yeah, Four of Pentacles. 
I, what I was picturing is someone who has not said what they truly feel. It's like they've kept this deep down or they're like holding back from saying what they want to say. And again, the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like something very important is like a change in the wind or something like that. Someone wants a change. This Ten of Wands with this Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Wands is about someone who is um, burdened, way down, has a lot of responsibilities, a lot of things on their plate, and they can, you know, they're really struggling to keep all of these wands um, from falling, and they're almost at their finish line. They're almost there. So I'm feeling like this Wheel of Fortune is like all that's left for this burden to drop. And I feel like this burden is connected to feelings that haven't been expressed, I have feelings, or something that hasn't been discussed. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Ace of Pentacles, Reverse, and the Four of Wands. This decision has to do with home or family. Tell me about the Two of Swords. I feel like this decision is so difficult because it's going to involve some sort of a loss. Yeah, okay, Two of Wands. Two of Wands clarifying the Two of Swords. This is about a path forward. Someone is really thinking about their future here, about the potential of a different path. The star at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius energy here. I feel like someone has hopes, dreams here for something better. But I feel like that that's why this decision is so difficult for someone to make. Um, because it's going to involve a loss. Stability, harmony, peace in the home could also be like a trade-off. Like in order to have peace or harmony or stability, someone's going to experience a loss. Let's see. How are you feeling about each other? Spirit, angels, guys. Tell me about Virgo's energies and their person's energies when it comes to this connection spirit. What are Virgo's energies at this time when it comes to this connection or this other person? Ooh, the crow. Interesting. And notice how the crow is like on a world or like a globe. And so is this man holding here like a globe. What I'm picturing here, Virgo, the crow is a, um, an energy about being able to see. Very spiritual energy. Someone I feel like that's very intuitive and the the crow literally in this deck or when you read the description of this card is someone that can see the past, the present, and the future. I feel like intuitively, Virgo, you know exactly where you are headed or where you want to go. I feel like you're also having maybe dreams or just daydreams about what you want what you want your future to be like. And it's regarding this person this future. Now, I have you on this side, Virgo, and I'm going to be putting your person on this other side here, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more because they could be um, flipped. Tell me about Virgo's person, please. What are Virgo's person's energies at this time regarding Virgo or this connection? Starfish. Ooh. Interesting. I got the tarantula at the bottom. This to me is, um, you know what I, what I got when I put down this card, I, I pictured someone who it's like, this is a, a dream, a wish. Um, let's see. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Virgo or this connection, please. I'm also picking up, it's almost like this person is very wary of you or this connection. 
Dragonfly and Eagle. Interesting. Two cards, two air cards here. Let me look at these real quick because the Eagle and the Hawk are like right next to each other and I don't, I always mix them up. The Eagle, Truth Seeker, Transforms Karma, Karmic Fire for the sake of your transformation. The Eagle pushes us to be our best and brightest selves, stops at nothing to see us shine emanates the light of the sun interesting the sun i feel like this is something this person i feel like when they think about you or this connection they think about almost like um how you've changed their life Let's see the dragonfly real quick Dragonfly, Master of Light, Illusion, and the Mind. So these two cards are about illusion here. Starfish and Dragonfly. Moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. Are they restless or still? The situation at hand may be different than it appears. So what I'm getting is like your person, it's almost like they don't think that, they think that this is an illusion. Like maybe they've been thinking or having some sort of clarity about this connection but in their mind this is too good to be true like it, it like it could never happen i'm also picking up it's almost like this person possibly wasn't completely honest with you virgo it's like they presented some a, a version of themselves but they never dug deeper than that let's get some more information i'm going to use my stellar energy oracle deck um this is a deck that you can print at home so it's very affordable. It's available in my shop if you're interested. Link in the description box. Let's look at the energies here a little bit closer. Spirit, tell me about Virgo's energies. Virgo's energies, please. Ooh. Free spirit, independent spiritual open mind. Free spirit is open to life's challenges with an open heart and an open mind. So I'm get, I'm seeing that you're picturing yourself free. Tell me more for Virgo. Free of whatever this five of pentacles is. Whatever this ten of wands is here. And by the way, this ten of wands is five of pentacles. This could be your person too. Fond memories. History. Nostalgia. Connection. Fond memories to look back on regarding your connection. So this is you picturing the past and the future here. Bottom of the deck, burdened heart. So that's that ten of wands. I feel like you're the one carrying some sort of burden. Tell me about Virgo's person. What are their energies? Deep regret. Okay, so your person is regretful. Feeling uh, regret, remorse, guilt, responsibility. I feel like that's probably why they think that this is probably not in the cards for them or something like that. Tell me more about Virgo's person. What are their energies, please? Reach out, contact, touch, communication. So this person wants to talk. And I feel like you do too. Now with far apart, distance, separation, divide, you might not be talking to this person. You might be long distance from this person. Um, something like that. So let's get some more information here with the tarot. Tell me about Virgo, please, and this other person. Tell me more about these energies for, for Virgo. Tell me more about Virgo. What are they thinking or feeling in this connection? Not ah, this one. Five of Cups. So you have regrets too. You're thinking of the past. Missing someone. You could be missing this person, Virgo. Ace of Cups, definitely. <laughs> yeah, you're missing this person. You love this person. Um, you want new love possibly with this person. I'm also picking up, it's like you're not happy with where, wherever situation you're in. And so you're picturing yourself being fulfilled. What else for Virgo? Page of Wands. So you want to communicate here. You want to get things moving, get things started with this, like this two of wands here. Tell me about Virgo's person. What are their thoughts or feelings towards Virgo at this time? 
Virgo's person, please, spirit. Oh my God, they're thinking about you, Virgo. There you are, hermit. I'm also picturing them not talking to you, doing a lot of thinking, um, listening to their intuition, seeking answers. But when I saw that card, I thought they're thinking about you. It's like they can't stop thinking about you because there's some sort of regret here. Two of Wands reverse. What else for Virgo's person? Six of Swords, Seven of Swords. Interesting. It's almost like this person um, like sneaked away or got away from you or left you. Virgo, this person could be trying to strategize about how to come visit you or how to see you as well. But what I'm picturing more is like someone like trying to sneak away. And I wonder why. Yeah, this is about travel. Cherry at the bottom. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Again, I'm getting the sense that this person wasn't completely honest. What's the Six of Swords about? Yeah, and there's the King of Swords reverse. So this person wasn't completely honest with you. Whether, you know, they meant, you know, whether they were trying to... I, I just, I'm not picking up an energy of someone that was trying to be deceptive, to be uh, mean or take advantage, but we'll see. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Knight of Cups reverse. Yeah, I feel like both of you didn't really express yourselves or open yourselves to each other. This person could have told you something um, that wasn't really true to get away from this connection for some reason or to stop talking to you for some reason. I'm not sure what that is. Tell me about this Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Page of Cups, yeah. So it's like they want to apologize here express themselves to you when they couldn't before and it's because they're not happy either with the four of cups they're not content either with whatever situation they have going on i feel like you're mirroring each other you both want the same thing and i feel like all you do is think about each other but you're not really saying it or there's something that's not very clear here all right, Virgo, I'll leave it there. Hopefully this reading resonated for you. If it did, don't forget to leave me a comment. Like, subscribe if you enjoy my readings. Thank you so much to everyone who continues to watch the readings and supports the channel. Thank you so much. And I'll see you all in another video. Take care.